A woman is only whole if she is becoming a mother. And once she is, everything will fall into place. This is what society tells each young woman since the dawn of time. But is it true? Is everyone really only fulfilled if they become a mother? In the movie Hue Serra, a co-production from Mexico and Peru, you will find an interesting answer to that question. If you want to hear that answer, then come inside and join me for this review video. Valeria and Raúl are a happily married couple. For quite a while now they are trying to become pregnant. And finally it worked out. Of course Raúl is a little bit concerned because Valeria is a real do-it-yourself person. Being a carpenter and creating everything at home herself, which also sometimes exposes her to chemicals to just treat the wood. So of course now, being pregnant, she has to step back a little bit from there. However, soon after, Valeria is starting to see strange things. Like a woman jumping out of a window from the house on the other side of a street. The body then, of course, is vanished when she is trying to show it to Raoul. But she keeps seeing that woman, whose bones in her whole body seems to be broken and she is crawling in a weird way that frightens Valeria, understandably. However, she keeps to be the only person seeing her, as well as other strange things that are going on. Her larger family is also not very helpful, because they all tell her that she is just seeing things, all the while teasing her that maybe it is because of her pregnancy, because she doesn't seem to be the type who should become a mother. But maybe her single and older aunt, who is the black sheep of the family for not being married, can help her out, because she suspects that there might be a supernatural origin for her problems. Literal. Sientes que se te parten los huesos. Okay, the movie is well acted and technically it's also done well. So let's concentrate on the story. And while watching the movie you pretty soon find out that this is not really a straightforward horror movie. It is more meant as an allegory, a metaphor for something else. What that is I will share with you in the spoiler zone. Because though it is pretty obvious it is also touching on the end of a movie which I don't want to give away here. In any case, you can also watch the movie without acknowledging the underlying metaphor. But on that level, the movie is just okay. It's nothing great, nothing new, and nothing that really thrills you or puts you into panic mode. On the other hand, of course, the metaphorical aspect just makes it interesting, but also doesn't heighten the movie to a level where you say, hey, that is something I have never seen before and that is the greatest idea ever. But if you consider that this movie was produced in Mexico and Peru, then the story might look a little bit different, at least from a cultural standpoint. As I cannot get into more details here, I might as well just jump right into the rating now. So as you just heard, you can watch the movie basically with two different mindsets. It kinda works on both levels, but on none of them it excels to a level where you say it is a really great movie. For the horror aspects, I might have scored it around 5 out of 10 points. Due to the metaphorical aspects, I guess I should score it a little bit higher, considering the countries it's from, the movie can be considered as quite brave. But more on that later. However, it also is not going all the way, and is implying things that are not really up to date, so it is not enough to really elevate it to much more than those 5 out of 10 points. I'm going with 6 out of 10, but that's it. And if you want to hear the reasoning for it, then unfortunately you have to join me in the spoiler zone. But I can also tell you that the spoilers I will give you are not really the biggest ones. Some people might not even consider them spoilers. But it is up to you and don't say you haven't been warned. So now you have to decide if you want to get spoiled. And if you leave but enjoyed this video so far, please like it now. And if you are not a subscriber yet, maybe consider to change that. By also hitting the notification bell, you will get a heads up for most of my new videos. If you are still with me, then follow me into the spoiler zone. Okay, let's make it quick. Valeria is a closeted lesbian. And she has a lesbian lover that she had to say goodbye to quite a while ago before she got married. For that reason, on some level, she doesn't really want to get pregnant with her husband, because that is not the life that she was supposed to live. Of course her aunt, that is the black sheep of the family, is also a lesbian, 
which nobody really wants to acknowledge within the family. Because that is culturally still a no-go in most South American countries, especially those where the Catholic belief can still be felt very heavily throughout the whole country. This aspect makes the movie a little bit more interesting, but not really more thrilling or something along those lines. But the main reason why I'm not scoring it higher is the movie ends with Valeria handing over her child to Raul and leaving. Which on one hand is a brave step because she says goodbye to the life that she does not want to live because it is not the life that she is supposed to live. But still she is abandoning her child and that feels a little bit weird, especially since also the message seems to be that if you are a lesbian you are not allowed to be a mother. And that would be also quite old fashioned and completely out of touch with reality. So that is why I thought that the movie also did not really work on that level. However, it was well done and is worth a watch, but that's about it. So what do you think? Are there many movies out of South America that are tackling that issue and doing it in a better way? Do you think the movie should have been scored higher just for the fact that it was tackling it at all? Or should I have not even considered that topic and just scored it as a horror movie straight away? Whatever you think about that, just let me know in the comments. So much for now, see you next time and thanks for watching.